special delivery. Wayne's Weird World. What do we have? Oh, well, this one's heavy. And I really don't want to be using my knee that much. So I'll drop that off. Get this modified flat tray mower out of the way. Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. Woohoo! Uh. Yes, gosh. Well, I've got to make room in the greenhouse. Uh. I see a butterfly caught in a spider web. We'll go free it up later. Uh. I originally was thinking of putting this big delicatum in this little hollow. But trouble is, it's got too much overhang, and I don't think it would get enough of the rain. So I thought this spot might be better. Less canopy, enough shade, it'll acclimatize. Ah, the butterfly got out, very good. Okay, let's see what we've got. Now this is the part I'm not gonna like. Getting down so I can get up close and personal. Oh. Got more bumps in the way. More sticks. Kindling for the, uh, the wood heater. All right. Just gonna get pulled out. It's an unnamed I'll recycle that into a garden unnamed uh, delicatum there was a label there somewhere doesn't matter now what I'm planning on doing uh, is shoving the root ball in here Dropping kickies everywhere. Okay, I'll give it a bit of koi peat first on the bottom. And then uh, pop this on top. You can see where it was confined to the original pot right there. I don't know if you can see it very well. Oh, that hurts. You can see where it was very compressed in the original, original pot. Now, that'll help keep all the koi peaks ah, and spank together. I was going to originally use a staple gun but then I realized how thick the bark is on this on this eucalypt and uh, I thought that's really not gonna hold very well oh that's gonna sit beautifully well I won't have to do trimming with that either I cut away the branches that I needed to. Just a few dead branches. Oh, catch my breath. Okay, it's dropping kickies everywhere. So, uh, they'll get uh, used elsewhere. A bit of uh, sphagnum moss. 
on each side if I can. This isn't my best magnum moss. This is not the living Tasmanian native uh, magnum moss that I collect from uh, from the friend's property up in the bush. I don't know if I can get the other side without busting up my leg. My knee. My knee, my knee. Sounds like something out of the beginning of Sesame Street. Monominal. All right, enough of that stuff. I'm not going to try and impress people with my uh, vocalization. Ah, if I can get that last bit in there. Throw in the last of the corner paint. And uh, before I finish off this video, I've got to back the, uh, the phone up the camera. So you can actually see. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Where that goes? Whoa! -ho! So you can actually see the size of this tree. Now it was one that I planted as a seedling. All the trees here, all planted out by me as seedlings when I bought the property. Now I'm just going to have to tie it. Wherever I can, actually, this is where the staple gun can come in. I don't think my daughters or uh, my doctor would be too impressed if they saw what I was doing now. Come on. It's always the hardest part. Tying things off. Try to catch my breath as well. I've really lost a lot of condition with uh, the shingles over these last few months. There's the label. Delicata doesn't have the date on it. I've only had it in a couple of years. Is that word that's near as bad as should usually I'm not working with things quite this large out in the bush but uh, I'm actually enjoying the challenge now, how well it's going to survive who knows I'll probably have to come out here every uh, week or two for the next uh, next summer to uh, to give this thing a drink. I really like fishing line. Because it's easy to 
destroy with my little uh, blowtorch so that birds, reptiles, small mammals don't get tangled up in it. But uh, it's also easy to cut away and slide slide out of the uh, mounted orchid. I think that's about it. One more. So two more turns. So I think uh, put that a little bit higher across that side of it. Yes. <laughs> and while I was out scouting around, stumbling around with my walking stick, I had a look at the uh, Salix tortuosa. The uh, oh, another one, tortured willow, and uh, so I'll go. Go across that lower bit. I didn't see that. I really, really don't want to be busting up my knee again. I'm trying, I'm trying to let it heal. <laughs> yeah. So, Elise, if you're watching, sorry. So, Astrid, sorry. <laughs> Here's another suitable branch. A couple turns around this. Yeah, scissors better than trying to dig out my pocket knife. Yeah. So I go around a couple of these strings that'll help tension it. I would have cut it just a little bit longer, would have made it easier. Oh well. And this band aid on my thumb really improves my manual dexterity. Not, not for the knots. Bloody hell. This is why I so often have to use my tweezers to get in there to complete a knot. And if I were to cut it just a little bit longer, it would have made it easier. Yeah, this isn't working very well. Expletive, expletive, read all about it. F and this and whatever, whatever. Now, my cousin in Duluth, Tim, he'll probably enjoy the expletives. I hope his dog's all right. He's got some serious health issues. And, uh, you know, a dog is not just a pet. Well, for some people they are. Hello. For some people they are. But while you're not paying attention, they latch onto your heart. It doesn't take long. Ah, one large mounted dendrobium delicatum. Let's have a look at this tree. Now, I planted that when it was just a little bit of a seedling. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Whoop, bumpity bump, bump, bump. Oh, come on, take it off the tripod. There we are. I think that'll be just fine. Now, see, that was a posy that I was 